<laughs> Next up, the Bills at the Colts. Spice Bus score 14.3 favors the Bills, Benny. The Bills. And the Colts get anything going, they're about to run Jonathan Taylor like he's crazy. Well, I wouldn't give up on Joe Flacco just yet, but I don't know what he's going to be able to do in this game. Let's see what he did last week. Uh, he got to start again over the bench to Anthony Richardson. That's a topic for another day as to what we think is going to happen to Anthony Richardson as far as the Colts are concerned. But uh, well, can I say this? Go ahead. I read that he they, they, they were getting requests, and they said he's off limits. Okay. Well, that's good to know. That means they're willing to give him another shot. But when they decide to do it, I don't know. Anyhow, uh, Flacco got to start uh, against Minnesota. He fumbled on the Colts' very first possession, so they got off to a bad start. Uh, besides a sack, scoop, and score by cornerback Kenny Moore, the Colts never got near the red zone, let alone the end zone in the first half. Didn't even get close. Uh, they were they were able to drive far enough to cash in on two field goals in the second half, but they lost to the Vikings 21-13. Now, the Buffalo Bills defeated the Miami Dolphins in a hard-fought AFC East battle. And this is going to go along with what you said about the difference between having Tua and not having Tua. It makes a big difference for the Dolphins. This game went to 30-27. The lead changed hands four times. And the teams combined for seven consecutive second-half scoring drives. That's crazy. That's a barn burner right there. Josh Allen, in fact, wasn't very good in the first half at all. He threw a pick, but he did lead the Bills to two field goals. He got it going in the second half. He threw three touchdowns in the second half. And when the Dolphins tied the score 27 with a minute 38 left in regulation, he drove the offense downfield with the help of a big unnecessary roughness penalty. And Tyler Bass kicked his third field goal of the day and got them the win. Um, I don't, I expect the Colts to play better with Flacco in there, but I don't think they'll be able to beat the Bills. The Bills are kind of on a roll right now. Josh Allen's feeling really good. I think Amari Cooper will be back. Uh, Khalil Shakir has been playing really well. And um, young man, Mr. Cook, the running back, is on fire right now. So, yeah, take the bills on this one. All right, going with the bias, going with the bills. Yes, sir.